Well, that's Jesse. <clears throat> this is about a couple stories that I don't think anybody probably even has heard about, but they, I mean, they should. This is especially parents, but they have kids in school. So in Springfield Elementary School, you had a bunch of black kids during on the playground in the morning. Because it was also recorded, so they can't say that this didn't happen. They were forcing the white kids to say white lives or black lives matter, and they would drag them across the ground, punch them. You know, if they tried to get away, they would chase them down. Even the kids that were doing it were recording, so. First of all, them kids need to be expelled immediately. Everybody that sat there and recorded it should be expelled. I mean, what, what do you think you're going to prove with, with race doing that? So now these kids, are, are, they don't even want to go back to school because of this bullshit. If that would have been one of my kids, I'd have been down at that school raising so much hell. And then there's another thing, because of DeSantis' bill in Florida, which is basically to get gender identity, pornographic material, racist material, stuff like that out of books. That's the whole purpose of the whole book thing, not, you know, banning books to ban books. He's banning books because he actually cares about what's in the books. But of course, everybody has to twist everything. But there's a video on, I think TikTok actually, because these teachers are so goddamn dumb, they don't know how to not record themselves. So you have a black teacher. The first video shows black kids coming in the room with their coats and stuff on, the white kids taking them off of them, bowing down to them. It, it's absolutely embarrassing and disgusting is what it is. You're basically pushing your political bullshit on kids. You, can you imagine these kids, how they, are, how they actually feel when they go into that classroom now? You know, you got a black guy that's making these white kids basically out to be the enemy. And the other black kids are seeing that this is how it should be. This is how the teacher perceives it. And the teacher is supposed to be one that you're looking up to. So they're gonna start treating the white kids like shit. It ain't right and it's bullshit. That black teacher should be fired and he should be charged with stuff. And they should look at his, on his computer too because I guarantee he's a pedophile. He's trying to be a smart ass on there and saying that books are bad and I shall not read books. Being a childish little bitch is what he's being. You know, the whole point of what DeSantis is doing is to get the pornographic shit out of the school to get the stuff that, you know, you shouldn't have porn and some, all this racist nonsense. You're never going to get rid of racism if all you want to do is focus on it. DeSantis is one of the only people that's actually doing something to help these kids, but everybody wants to twist it around to, to fit their narrative. And this is actually some low-life bullshit is what this is. I mean, just imagine your kids, if you have a white kid now, imagine how they're being treated. And they're probably not telling you anything because they're, they're embarrassed. So if I was a parent, some of you parents in, the, in there in Florida, I'd be asking your kids what's going on in the classroom. Ask them if this is happening. Ask them if these, if these things are happening to, their, to your kids. And if it is, I'd be down there the same day. You know, these kids have never, none of these black kids have been slaves. None of these white kids have had slaves. None of you guys have had slaves, the parents. So this is just getting out of hand and it's getting childish at this point. You can't fix past racism with present racism. That's just fucking stupid. Your kids have not done anything wrong and they don't have to sit there and put up with that bullshit. I mean, they're literally belittling your children in front of these other kids every day. For political purposes, actually. All these teachers on here that are saying that, oh, well, I really wanted to retire this and that, but this kind of stuff is making me, 
if they're going to start banning books, I should maybe retire early. Yeah, you should, because probably because you're a pedophile and you got shit on your computer. You know, he's not doing anything wrong. Obviously, the people getting mad about somebody doing something to help your kids is obviously guilty of something. So I would pull every single one of their computers, because I guarantee you they're all fucking child pornography perverts is what they are. I think we've started to see that this is where the teachers have been all this. That's why they've obviously become teachers, because they're perverts. I can't believe there's so many of them now, though. That's pretty insane to me, but... Making your kids feel like shit because they're white. And this is like young, young kids in elementary school. And you're teaching the black kids that this is okay, that this is how you treat them. I don't, I don't understand it. I'd be a son of a bitch in that school, let me tell you. I would, oh my God. You're making people racist is what you're doing. I never even paid attention to race before because it doesn't matter to me, but I mean, yeah, I've said things before, but what to damn do? But now you're just making it to where you're, you're making everyone not even want to care about any of this stuff anymore. It's just going to go straight to everyone's going to be racist no matter what and not give a damn what anybody else says. You know, if you're going to cry about a teacher or about a, a governor who doesn't want your kid reading a book like Lawn Boy, where two guys are touching their, each other's erections, then you need to go to prison as well, because you're a pervert. If you don't want your, your kids constantly being reminded of their, of their skin color while you're preaching about you know racism today, doesn't need, we shouldn't be fighting it today. Well, no shit, we shouldn't. And four or five years ago, racism was not as bad as it is now, because it's a, now a political agenda, and that's all it is. And now you have kids literally beating up kids for not saying Black Lives Matter. I would have said, fuck Black Lives, right then, right to, the, right to those kids' face, because that's ridiculous. You can't force someone to say something that they don't even want to say. It doesn't matter to the fact that it doesn't have anything to do with it's not saying believing that Black Lives Matter. It's just now it's, it's you're forcing something that's it's unjustified at the time. These kids don't have anything to do with any of this bullshit. And now just think what you did to those white kids. They could have been the most non-racist kids known to man, and now they're going to be racist. And they have every right to be. Beating them up. out on the playground. Uh, uh. And I'm sure the white parents will do nothing like the little pussies that they are. And now this teacher needs to be fired. And I would hope to God that somebody would, you know, start pushing this narrative to make sure that he is held accountable. Because he's literally sitting there allowing his kids. The black kids would walk in the room and the white kids would take their coats and stuff like that. Just, it, it's, it's embarrassing is what it is. It's absolutely embarrassing. If I was a parent of one of those kids, you would have seen me down there the same day and I'd have had that entire classroom busted up. I don't care if I went to jail or not. That's, that's straight up racist. And it is. And now you're teaching the kids that it's okay to treat the white kids like a piece of shit for something that they've never done, something you've never experienced, because you're a selfish cocksucker and a pedophile. I can't believe the shit that's going on today. Now you white kids, if they don't do anything about it, do the same thing. Freaking pull their ass out there, beat them up, and make them say white lives matter. If they don't want to do anything about it, just do reverse shit. That's what they want to do with racism, so. You're going to have to start playing the same game if nobody else is going to help. Because they don't care about the actual racist part of it. They just, they just enjoy gloating and making you feel like a piece of shit. 
they don't actually want to fight racism. That was never the point. Because it wasn't there. They have to create it. But you parents need to start paying a lot more attention to the news and seeing what the hell's going on in your schools because this is getting ridiculous. When you got a bunch of teachers crying about books being taken out of the school that have pornographic material in it, you've got a lot of perverts in that school. And these are the people that are teaching your kids. So you need to start paying attention. And I would start talking to your kids, to your white kids, and asking them if this stuff's happening to them. And if it is, raise hell. If they don't do anything about it, teach them to do the same thing back. Why not? If that's the only route you can go, then do it. All right, that's it. See you.